So, how is the asset turnover ratio interpreted? What actually does it mean? This ratio is an efficiency ratio and a productivity ratio. How efficiently does the company generate sales from the use of their resources, their assets? It indicates how many dollars in sales was generated from every dollar of assets. In 2022, for every dollar of assets, the company Orange Inc. generated $2.05 of revenue. In 2021, for every $1 of total assets, the company generated $2.37 of revenue. This is measuring management's ability to manage and use the company's assets to generate value in the form of revenues. So, is Orange Inc. in a good position? The higher the asset turnover ratio, the better the company is performing, since higher ratios indicate that the company is generating more revenue per dollar of assets. For Orange, we can see that the trend is downwards, reducing from $2.37 per dollar of assets to $2.05. So, based on trend over time, Orange's ratio is declining. Over time, if this continues, it will likely have a negative impact on the company's share value. However, we should also compare Orange's ratio to the industry average against Orange's peers. Say the industry average is $1.98, meaning that for every dollar of assets, companies, on average, have $1.98 of revenue. In that case, although Orange's ratio has declined, it is still above its peers in the same industry, which is good. Now let's assume that the industry average is $2.58, meaning that for every dollar of assets, companies, on average, have $2.58 of revenue. Well, in that case, Orange's ratio is poor, both declining and lower than the industry average. This might be cause for concern. However, remember that no one ratio in isolation tells the whole story of a company. We would have to analyze multiple ratios in order to determine whether Orange is worth investing in or not. So let's answer the question, is a higher ratio always better? Yes. A higher ratio, in comparison to other companies in the same industry, is more favorable. It indicates that management's efficient use of their assets is contributing to their success at generating revenue. However, we have to also be aware of what is considered high in different industries. The asset turnover ratio tends to be higher for companies in certain sectors than in others. For example, Consumer product companies tend to have lower total assets, but high sales, so they have very high asset turnover ratios. But companies in, for instance, uh, real estate have higher average assets, so their ratio, even if their sales are comparable in dollar value, will automatically be lower. Since this ratio can vary widely from one industry to the next, it must be compared to other companies in the same industry. Comparing the asset turnover ratio of a retail company to, say, a telecommunication company is never appropriate. Comparisons are only meaningful when they are made for different companies within the same sector. But, if compared between companies in the same industry, a higher ratio is better as it indicates that the company is using their assets more efficiently to generate revenue than their peers. A low ratio indicates weaknesses in the company's ability to manage their assets to generate revenue. We'll continue with the limitations of the asset turnover ratio in the next video.